Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and today I want to talk about Gotham Knights again because of course this weekend was DC fandom and during that alongside seeing trailers for various different DC films we also got a couple of trailers for some games. One of those being Gotham Knights, the other being Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League which I'll also be speaking about in a subsequent video. But in this one we got a closer look at the mysterious Court of Owls and it's also our first look at the game in more than a year. So basically we get a chance to see what Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl and Red Hood will be up to in 2020. Which is the release window. Still no exact date, but they're now targeting 2022. The preview itself showed off a brief look at the game where Nightwing, Robin, Batgirl and Red Hood are captured by the Court of Owls and after a short cinematic trailer there was a special sort of behind the scenes preview that gave fans a look at the history of the Court of Owls and let the creators and the developers behind the game explain the society's history in Gotham City and how it's going to fit into the new game. And we'll speak about that in just a moment but before that as a quick recap if you guys have maybe not necessarily seen much on this or you're wondering what exactly is Gotham Knights then I got you covered. Of course, if you do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know if you guys are looking forward to this, let me know what you think of it, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. But top level, Gotham Knights is the next game in the Batman universe. It's been developed by Warner Brothers Games Montreal, and while it is in the Batman universe, it does not actually star Batman. Instead, as mentioned, you'll be suiting up as Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood and Robin after Bruce Wayne has allegedly died in a Batcave explosion. It's now up to the rest of the Bat family to handle the troubled Gotham City following his demise. Of course, the developers have previously worked on Arkham Origins in 2013 and some parts of Arkham Knight in 2015, so although Gotham Knights itself is not actually connected to the Arkham universe, there will definitely be some parallels and some sort of feelings that you'll get in this game. It's also an open world game, it's an open world action RPG set in a wayward Gotham City without the Batman. In the last gameplay walkthrough they shared, it showed a good slice of what we'll be getting up to in Gotham, complete with bat cycles which you can use to bomb it around the city. The gameplay blends a mixture of stealth, combat, unique abilities and boss battles similar again to what you've experienced in the Arkham titles. The game also features some RPG elements. Throughout the gameplay walkthrough you can see level indicators next to enemy health bars and damage numbers. WB later then said that you'll also be managing your gear, a melee weapon, a ranged weapon, a suit, all of which will affect how you play but that is also different to your suit style so you can still continue to play the game and look the way that you want. It is also worth noting there are also special abilities too which will factor into another meter that you build in gameplay. One important thing to note is that despite the mention of RPG mechanics and collectible gear, this is not a game as a service, which a lot of games you know, have been trying to do lately. This is still very much a contained experience that you can play through and complete. You can also play through Gotham Knights entirely as a single player game or as a two player co-op experience. There is drop in drop out co-op so you can help your friends along the way. WB Games also said that Gotham is totally open so you can do as you please without enemies of higher levels blocking your exploration. As mentioned at the beginning, you of course have the four playable characters, Robin, Tim Drake, Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, Nightwing, Dick Grayson, and Red Hood, Jason Todd. So jumping back to what we saw, the first trailer was largely a story trailer. It gives us a feel for the setting, it shows the playable heroes dotted around the city, and it then introduces the Court of Owls. We see lots of very intricate gothic looking architecture, a big sort of mansion, a manor, the heroes exploring this sort of underground hideout of sorts, and then they get trapped by the court. We then get to see some of the enemy types, the talons, you have the fast paced style crawlers, the sort of big melee types and even the big bruisers with a shield and a mace. This is then shown in some of the behind the scenes video, we get to see the manor guards patrolling the area, the team then talk about how this is a story they've always wanted to explore and then there's even more gameplay that looks like a sort of deadly puzzle area with spinning blades, kind of like a lethal Takeshi's castle. Honestly I'm really interested in this one, I can't wait to sort of see where it goes. I will say I kind of wish it was 4 player co-op because of course given the fact there are 4 different characters when I first saw this I just instantly assumed four player cop but it might well be down to them trying to sort of maintain that tight feel to combat and maybe not necessarily having it be like a big hack and slash fest on screen either way that's how it is but that's currently what we have so again not a great deal right now but factory in that we are targeting 2022 I imagine in the new year we will hear and see more so for the time being that's what you have on Gotham Knights hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you would like to see in this game Thanks very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you want to catch more from us don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our latest uploads and if you want somewhere to hang out, play games or chat all things from games to anime, food to fitness, consider joining the Arix Gaming Discord. 